I'm Brian Abel. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Crime Stoppers offering a thousand dollar reward for information leading to the arrest of Lawrence Davis. He's accused of killing 24 year old Tyler Wingate. Police say he got into an accident near a gas station on Livernois and Davis in, De in Detroit. This happened at around 1:45 Monday morning. Officers say Davis got out of his car and beat Wingate to death. Davis, 23 years old, 6'1", weighing about 200 pounds. If you know anything, please call Crime Stoppers at 1-800-SPEAK-UP and remember you can remain anonymous. And some sad news out of Allen Park, the police department mourning the death of canine officer Phantom. In a post on Facebook, the department says he had been suffering from a pancreatic disease. Phantom and Officer Franco had been partners for roughly two years. The officer says Phantom was an amazing addition to his family, the department and the community. Today, Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib making a stop at the National Local Progress Conference in downtown Detroit. Right now, 700 progressive lawmakers from across the country are here. They'll spend the weekend sharing ideas and goals of getting laws passed at a local level. Now let's get a check of weather with Mike Taylor. Mike. Our forecast will fall to around 71 degrees. The humidity is still fairly high, so we're not going to lose much. We stay partly cloudy. Rain's mainly going to be north. Winds are going to calm down a little bit, but they pick right back up into the day tomorrow. 89, about a 40% chance of seeing some rain. Monday, once again, the rain is there, but we dry things up Tuesday afternoon and beyond. It's going to feel like early fall as opposed to late summer. The humanitarian group ICNA Relief making the next school year a little easier for students from low income families. The nonprofit giving away a thousand backpacks, putting smiles on kids' faces at the Islamic Center of Detroit. The backpacks filled with supplies. ICNA Relief is gifting a total of 50,000 backpacks today at more than two dozen locations nationwide. Well, those are your headlines. Make sure you head to WXYZ.com and download our app for news anytime. I'm Brian Abel. Have a great weekend.